use it for patient in Africa to get access to radiation therapy. So in Africa, it's a very bleak situation in which out of 54 countries in the African continent, there are 26 of those where there's no radiation therapy available at all. So patients there diagnosed with cancer would be unable to access radiation therapy. And there's a similar situation closer to home, isn't there, in PNG? That's right. In, in PNG, uh, of a population of close to 9 million people, there is no radiation therapy machine currently working in PNG. It's almost too hard to think about the gaps that you're describing, but you've travelled uh, to Cambodia on a number of occasions. What work have you been doing there and what uh, insight does it give us in what we need to do to close this gap so cancer patients can get the radiation therapy they need? Yeah, so I co-chair a group, the Asia Pacific Special Interest Group of our college, APRISIG, and as part of that, what we do is partner with radiation therapy departments in our region in the Asia Pacific, including Cambodia and Mongolia. And what we mainly do is try to help provide support in terms of training uh, for countries that are trying to expand their radiation oncology services, but who may not have had the prior experience to do that. And so what we can see is that the issue is not just a gap in access in terms of machines, but also in terms of the health professionals to actually give that radiation service. Because if you think about it, if you're a country that's never had radiation oncology services before, who do you have to actually teach you and to train you? You don't have those established training programs. So I, th- yeah. so I think that's where Australia and New Zealand uh, radiation oncologists and other oncology professionals can really help to try to close the gap in access is to help to provide some of this support in education and training. Wherever we live, we deserve the best possible chance to survive cancer and receive the treatment that will benefit us. Aboriginal people should be able to access radiation therapy if they need it. Right now, there are Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cancer patients who are struggling to get the radiation therapy that they need. In some parts of the world, it's impossible for most cancer patients to get radiation therapy. Māori should be able to get access to radiation therapy if we need it. The Targeting Cancer campaign is supporting the work to close the care gap in radiation therapy at home and abroad. To learn more and to find out how you can help, please visit the Targeting Cancer website.